Okay, so to end add kind of rocks, what are we going to do? It's add another one right there. Okay, and let's go just to look what we have. So I want to do it's take all the way down to about 50 meters, create quite a bit noise on this. And let's switch to an add-on on this. And we'll leave it everything else on. So it does help us create this kind of very high noisy things that we're going to use as a rocks. Okay, next, let's go to add a clam node to this. Okay, we'll go to filters. So in some ways, I want to trim a little bit down those rocks. So we'll go to connect. Okay, and on a clam node, we'll go right there and we'll take this all clamp all the way to maybe um, 180, maybe around there. Okay, click OK. And again, preview, you can see we already create kind of nice, very noisy things that we can reuse. Okay, the one thing uh, we want to control also how it is distributed. For example, I want to maybe create on the edges of the on the edges of the craters, not necessary inside or maybe some like in this area. So we need it mask a little bit how it's going. And the mask will just take from our combiner from here and will connect to our mask. But before we do this, let's add a couple things first. I actually want to go take and invert. So you can see we have it kind of almost bubbles right there. And next we'll go connect to our clamp. So if we preview, you can see we have it a nice uh, rocks and with craters less. So we kind of convert um, adjusting this noise. So it's work a little bit nicer, bigger rocks and smaller rocks base it on if it's in and out. Let's a little bit modify those rocks. So we'll go inside and we'll select um, simple height transform. So let's go put this right there. Oops, right here. We'll connect. Okay. And and this one, let's go to just adjust a couple things. Maybe colonize, bring a little bit down plateaus. And let's move out a little bit. And maybe just add a little bit heavy variation. Not that much. Modifying and if we preview. You can see we have it nice um, rocks in the areas and we'll just move a little bit and also just look a little bit noisy, nice that we can use that mask to connect with the next thing. Um, also, let's, you know, some of us was a little bit tall and I won't go to use and just clamp to this. Okay, let's go open here and I want to use clamp and we'll just take top one and cut off some of this high peaks. I go down. Maybe you know. Let's go look. Six thirty, six or three. So let's try this one. See what how it will look. Okay. So it's cut off the rocks. It's look very nice. And how say I don't want inside the craters the rocks. I want them pushing out so they will be outside, and inside will be kind of staying. So right here, we already have a very nice um, set. On these rocks, next, what I want to do is actually add erosion because they do look um, interesting. Okay, oops, let's go back, select this clam. Okay, so then we'll look, they look interesting rocks, but I want to add some erosion to them with time. It just make a little bit more sandy look, another effect. Again, if you don't want it, you can skip it, but for this effect, okay, it's natural right there. So we'll go add, and we'll just go and connect them. Okay, so let's open, and we'll just switch to a bit stronger channel one. We'll go pop up, maybe, you know, let's go to a little bit higher on this one. And we'll also take rock hardness, so we still have it, some of the structure back. Um, let's pop up segment carrying. So we have it and we'll enable and bring maybe a little bit more naive 
hive. So I'm almost to the end. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, preview. And right there, you can see we have a nicer smooth. A bit adjustment. Again, you can play more around this. Depend how many rocks do you want to create it. You know what? Let's do this way. Let's go pop up at least to one five, so we can preview a little bit with higher details. Okay. So right there, you can see nicely. We have it. Not too much. Just the right amount of rocks around. We can add a little bit more as we're going. Okay, now what we want to do is combine them together. So to do this, we need to create another combiner. Okay, so we'll put right here. Okay, next, let's add one, another, and we'll go switch this to the add because I want to add both of them, and we'll go all the way almost. So just add right here. Again, we'll go click preview and you can see we have nice rocks in those areas applied. Not inside, but just outside. So it's almost like, you know, after explosion, they push those rocks a little bit out. Okay, now next, um, I think we can go and apply some erosion that will be almost done. So I want to add some time kind of almost over this. So we'll go just select Okay, with our natural right here we'll add erosion to this point and we'll connect okay let's go to open we'll again switch this to the channel uh, we can pop up now higher and we'll see you can see how much we want to apply to this um, let's take whole, a rock hardness and just bring way up and we'll add segment Carrying out as well, we'll go enable geological time enhance and maybe actually bring this slightly down to 90, maybe um, around there. Maybe just play around with the settings, see which one works better. We'll go preview, and you notice right here we have it nicer now applied the effect to us. We still have the rocks on top. Still have it nice going down again. This is quite a bit strong erosion, so you can create less. But again, this is great, very beautiful, nicely looking um, craters kind of area. If you need it, area protectable from craters, maybe we can mask as well. But overall, we have it larger. This and uh, same things. Um, if you wanted, you can remember add combiner to even more to this and create a larger area. So, for example, you can, we can create right here, but instead of this, we can go and just as example, create another larger one. Okay, we can go and take another combiner. Okay, put it there. Same like we did right here, set to the minimum. And now connect to this. So even we can create another one. And you can create as many as you wanted, but preview on this. So we'll have it super large craters, like right there, and we have it smaller. So we can combine all these different craters. Um, the one very important thing what I want to do in this, it is add now output nodes. And I like to create as many as possible because I am going after in another application, take these maps and reuse it. Because we go to output mode right now. Okay, we'll go to take high output and we'll go to connect to our high field. So let's go open. Uh, right here, I like to preset first and let's set output whatever you desire. For example, we can put it high field. Next, um, I usually copy this, and if you click paste, and the reason why I like copy paste at this point, because if we open all our settings saved, so if you have some path or other ones, it's all saved and copy. It's make it a little bit faster and easy to work. So what I want to do, I want to actually connect to the rocks, to high field rocks maybe, and um, 
flow map on erosion. So if I want to add go right there, okay. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to add. Let's go zoom in. There you go, it's much easier this way. So we'll have another one creating, connecting to flow. Also, I will have it three created here. And we'll take those ones and connect them to flow, to wear, and to deposits. Okay. And one other one, so what I want to do is take just um, high field from here and apply it. So in this case, if I want to isolate the rocks and add a different color on the rocks, I will have it just a center without rocks. So we'll just copy this one and connect. So in this case, you can see we have it several maps we will output and um, we're going to use them as a test in a view application, see how they will come up with this. But at this point, we can actually go click preview and example right here, you can see some of the map. So we'll go use something similar inside the um, view to create it. Okay, also we'll right here on resolution, you'll notice we have um, 1024, notice some difference. So if you're going with higher resolution, like 4000 or whatever, um, you may lose some of details, some artifacts or small details. So higher resolution, not always is can be good. You want to increase size of the map if you do this way, but otherwise it is, um, you may hit some problems. Okay, so build complete with this size. It took three minutes. Let's go click OK. And you can see some of those rocks we did lose, but however, we get some good details. Okay, let's, and after, of course, you can go inside and we can click and export all of them. Again, build the world. Right now, if I click, it won't take that long because we have it um, all done. But also, it's a rock high field so remember we need to change some of those names if you want to do this way so let's in the next portion we'll go inside the vu and we're going to use it there if you're using terrigen then i will recommend for you to use it high field save as terrigen list not the other maps so you can use it much easier to import that will also include height information